Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to this week's vlog. I've just tidied up my office, so it's looking so neat and tidy, ready for a busy day of making content. It's also beautifully sunny outside, which is just so nice, it really uplifts my mood. How have you all been starting to feel mega Christmassy? Well, I've actually been feeling Christmassy for quite a while now. I don't know why, I'm very into it this year. I think it must be the kids. I think this is gonna be, is this gonna be my last video or maybe my penultimate video before I have some time off at Christmas and I'm gonna take a good like few weeks off. I don't take much like official holiday throughout the year. So at Christmas, I think it's a really good time to switch off. It's really quiet, like in the industry. I can still like make content on like my social media channels, but I think for YouTube, it's nice to just take a little break and then come back in the new year. Like I love January. I love that like fresh new year, new start feeling. So yeah, I'm gearing up for some time off. It's like a busy week this week, a busy week next week. And then pretty sure I'm done for Christmas. Looking forward to some like family time and just spending time with Rich and the kids and my grandma and it's gonna be lovely. This video is sponsored by Arquette and I wanted to let you know that right at the beginning because I think the majority of this video is gonna be my little kind of Arquette gift guide. It's kind of a gift guide. Like I think everyone is very different with Christmas gifts. In my family, we do secret Santa with the adults. So we all get one name and then we spend 50 pounds on that one person. That's how we do it. Some people really love to splash out and they save for like that special time of year where they really love to buy everyone presents. Some people might not even celebrate Christmas or they might celebrate Hanukkah or other holidays. So this is kind of a gift guide. It can also just be like gifting inspiration for other occasions for birthdays or just a little look at what Arquette have to offer because I love Arquette. I know you guys love Arquette. Honestly, it's like my favorite brand. I could have my entire wardrobe from there and all my homeware and everything. It's just the absolute best. And what I've done is I've picked 10 things with a price range from low to high. So there's quite a mix of stuff in there and from different categories, homeware, beauty, style, men's. So I'm really excited to show you the things which I really recommend and might give you guys some inspiration. I love watching this kind of thing, especially around this time of year. It's my birthday on the 9th. So I think it would have been by the time you guys watch this, but people who have Christmas birthdays, it's also a really good way to get inspiration of like, when people are like, what do you want for your birthday? There's always loads of gift guides and stuff going on this time of year, so I find that helpful. So that's the first thing I wanna say. The majority of this video is gonna be my Arquette gift guide, and I think you guys are really gonna like it, so stick around to watch that. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all of your love and support on my TikTok Vlogmas. I know there was a little bit of hesitation from like people who really don't like TikTok and don't want to join TikTok, and that is so fine. I wanted to tell you the reasons why I'm doing Vlogmas on TikTok, this year and not YouTube. First of all, I haven't done it on YouTube since I had Grey, so like three years. So this isn't instead of YouTube. I was never gonna do Vlogmas on YouTube. It's just impossible for me with the way that my life is now. Filming, editing, uploading every day, like behind the scenes of uploading a YouTube video, editing, upload a video is more complicated than you realize if you don't do it yourself. It's just, it wasn't ever gonna be a possibility for me. So for me, this is just like an extra added bonus. It's instead of not doing it at all, the reason I'm doing it on TikTok instead of Instagram is because it just lends itself better to that platform. Instagram isn't really the platform that you upload daily on. On stories, yes, but not on like the main grid. It would 100% lose me followers. Like it's just not something you do. And the style of videos in, that I'm doing, which are like a minute to 90 seconds long, they're short little clips with a voiceover and it's very TikTok style. I've also seen some people asking why I'm not uploading it to YouTube Shorts and that's because YouTube Shorts, you're only allowed a minute and often they're over a minute because I'm TikTok you can go much longer than a minute and I don't know why YouTube have made it only a minute it's a bit annoying but maybe at the end I can try and upload them all in one go to YouTube only problems there this is so boring but I've just had so many questions about it the only problems there are that it's obviously portrait not landscape and also I'm editing them and uploading them on TikTok and it's hard to explain but it means I'm actually editing the clips and the voiceover on TikTok rather than on a separate editing platform, which means that I, the only way I can download them is with the TikTok branding. That's why I can't upload them to Instagram as well. Oof, a lot of information, but I was finding it really frustrating that I was getting loads of comments about it and I couldn't really like reply because there's a long explanation, but there was a thought process. I really thought it through and I thought you guys would really like this. I am sharing them on my Instagram stories. So if you really don't want to be on TikTok, you can watch them there. But just a quick note, 
on TikTok because I know there are lots of people like me. I'm now, when you're watching this, I'm gonna be 35, which is crazy, who are quite resistant when new platforms start. I am the same. I'm always like, not another platform. Uh. And there are many things I dislike about TikTok. I would not allow my kids to be on TikTok compared to Instagram, which I would. I think it can be quite a toxic platform. But let me quickly, going on a tangent here, but let me quickly give you a few tips. If you are wanting to join TikTok and kind of give it a go, but you feel totally overwhelmed and you just don't really understand how it works. Let me give you a few tips. Don't listen to this if you're Gen Z because this is really obvious and it's gonna make you roll your eyes. But for people like me, who are maybe a little bit older, a little bit more traditional, a little bit more nervous about newer platforms like this, let me explain to you how TikTok works so that if you do give it a go, you can enjoy your experience more. On TikTok, there is a following tab and a for you tab. The following tab is where all the people that you follow are, just like Instagram. I actually tend to spend most of my time on the For You tab, and that's because that's kind of where TikTok comes into its own. It suggests content that it thinks you want to watch. The algorithm is really sensitive though, and you can manipulate it. That's the important thing to know. So the way the algorithm works is the longer you watch a video, so the more seconds you watch a video for, the more it thinks that you like that content. And that also applies to engaging and interacting with content, so liking something or commenting on. It. And by doing that, it's going to then serve you, so it's going to show you more content that's similar to that. So sometimes that's a great thing because you'll watch a video about handbags and then it thinks, oh, this person likes handbags, so they'll give you more content like handbags and you can discover some really amazing, fun, exciting content on there. Sometimes it doesn't work in your favour. This is where I think it's a bit of a dangerous platform. For example, sometimes I'll get served quite a shocking video that's maybe about like death or a sensitive topic and I'll watch it for maybe a couple of seconds longer because it's caught my attention and it's shocking and then I'll flick off because I'll realise I don't like it but those extra two seconds means that the algorithm now thinks I like that content so it will start serving me more and that's where you can get stuck into like a black hole of getting served really strange quite traumatic triggering content. There are two things you can do there. There is a way I think where you can click and say I don't want to be shown more of this type of content or which is what I do you kind of manipulate the algorithm by forcing another type of content to be shown to you. I hope this isn't boring. I think this is helpful. This is why I'm going off on one about this. So if that happens to me and I get stuck in like a hole of content I don't want to be served, I will keep flicking through until I find something that's different, a fashion TikTok or a food TikTok, whatever it is, and I'll watch that for longer or I'll tap the heart button to like it. And then immediately I'll start being shown more of that content and I can kind of get back on track and get away from whatever weird content it starts serving to me. Those are my TikTok tips. Don't be scared of it. It can be a really great platform and I wanted to give you guys those tips to try and be a bit more like inclusive for the people who feel quite intimidated about it. I was telling a friend that the other day and she was like, oh my god, I wish I knew that. If someone had explained, I would be less intimidated by TikTok. So there you go. Um, I hope that was helpful. I'm wearing all Arquette today and this is actually a coincidence. Didn't even think it through. This is my stripy long sleeve top that I love and my jeans. I've actually got uh, my agency's Christmas party tonight. I think it's gonna be big and quite like, I don't know, actually I don't really know what to expect from it. But I think Rich is coming. I get a plus one, which is really nice. We don't really get to do fun stuff like that, especially like worky stuff together. I have no idea what I'm wearing, so I need to figure that out today. But I think the first thing I need to do, because that little TikTok chat was a lot for someone that woke up at 5.30 a.m. Oh my God, my kids keep waking up so early. I need to go make a coffee. I don't think you guys have seen the tree on YouTube. Yeah, I don't think it was up in the last vlog. We've put the tree up. Our tree is a fake tree, but I think it looks quite real. Everyone always says it looks pretty real. Yeah, let me show you some of the decorations that we have. These are from Arquette. I bought them last year because I thought they were genius when we had Grey, who was little, and all our decorations were glass. And we've got a lot of these paper decorations, which I love. I feel like I need another color going on because I've only got the blush pink and the white, but I love them. We controversially have added some color lights this year. I saw these lights in the garden centre and they're like three different sizes and they do come in white and I wanted white and white look would have looked great. They would have looked like this. But Grey just loves rainbows and I thought, do you know what? This is meant to be fun for the kids. It's not about making an Instagram worthy Christmas tree. So I got the coloured lights. So we've got normal lights and coloured lights going on. And then we've got just a few other random decorations that we've collected over the years. This is Grey's one for this year. We've got these like metally ones and these stars and i think it's looking fab i love it star at the top i 
feel like I have so much to talk to you guys about, but I also don't want to make the longest video of all time. Ooh, these are drying next to me. These are from the wash. These are those period pants I was telling you guys about. They're from the brand Snugs. So I've given them a go since I last spoke about them. And I think they're genius. They've worked. I didn't have any like leaks. They're so much more comfortable than wearing a sanitary towel at night. Oh my God, I used to feel like I was wearing a nappy. So I love that. The only thing I can't quite nail is the, like I said before, like the logistics in the morning. And that's mainly because I've got really young kids. If I didn't, I would just get up, have a shower, rinse them in the shower or rinse them in the sink, which is what you all said you did. Put them in a little knitted bag, put them in the wash but what happens is Ray Rudy like wakes up at like half five six screaming and I've got to take him straight downstairs so he doesn't wake gray and, and I don't really want to like continue wearing my period pants downstairs and like to have breakfast and everything I kind of want to like it was already hard enough changing a sanitary pad and like putting in a tampon <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking in such detail about this, but to have to like take those off and like change my knickers and put in it, it's like he will be screaming the house down by then. So logistically, it's a little bit tricky. When I'm on my period, I'm like rich. I kind of need help in the mornings, which is ridiculous. I'm sure I'll work out like a routine that works. Oh my gosh, see this is why I wish we'd got blinds earlier. Okay, ready? Oh my God, all those times I filmed jobs and I was like trying to put foil on the window. Ready? Wait, how low, how low do I go? <gasps> Genius! <laughs> Honestly, I've had to like cancel filming days because the sun in the kitchen. <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyway, that is helpful. I wanted to show you guys, I wrapped up a present. She's gonna be watching this video, but I think she would have opened it by now. And I don't know about you, but because we do Secret Santa in my family, there's only really like one present to wrap for someone. I've got my dad this year, which is like, I don't know, I always want the girls because it's more enjoyable <laughs> to buy for the girls. My dad, I don't know, might get my jumper, but he's not really gonna like appreciate the wrapping. I love like wrapping a present and like spending time on it, but we end up with like one present to wrap and then like the rest is all for kids and I'm not gonna put in like loads of effort to wrap for kids who are just gonna like rip the paper off and not even care. So I kind of do miss that part like of Christmas, like enjoying the pleasure of buying. There are like a few people that I buy Christmas presents for outside of my family and then I take like a lot of pleasure in wrapping them because we don't really do that. Um, so this present, I wish I had ribbon. I don't have any ribbon, but look how nice. Oh, it's got hair on it. Oh, that's not nice. She's not gonna want that. I've wrapped up, I've got a few presents here. Really love this paper. And then I'm really into buying people like Christmas tree ornaments. I don't know, this has like become a thing. She loves a disco ball. So I got her this little like disco ball Christmas ornament. Love that, really cute. And oh, this is like a birthday Christmas present. That's why it's big. Um, a little birthday card. I need to write that. Also, you would have seen on my Instagram if you follow me on there, I got one of Grey's drawings printed and blown up and i put gray age three at the bottom sorry but how good is that i know i'm her mum. she hasn't really done a drawing like this since it was a really one-off random fluke where she was just in a really good mood and she was sitting and drawing and really concentrating and she drew this and i was like that is I think that's really good for a three-year-old. She's definitely got like the creative gene in her. So I'm gonna put that on the gallery wall. I'm just such like a proud mom. I love it. Really need to print some photos of Rudy though. I've got nothing of him on the wall. Just like haven't had time to do that. I'm gonna take these upstairs with me. I just love them so much. We only get one a week in our online shopping. So they always feel really like precious, but I just can't resist them. Okay, I've got myself nice and comfy because I'm gonna talk you through my Arquette gift guide. I'm surrounded by amazing products to show you. Honestly, they've got such a good variation, but I know a lot of you are time poor, so I've done the research for you. You don't have to scroll through the whole website. I'm going to tell you the best bits. So starting from the lowest price first, working my way up, and I'm going to link everything down below in the description box. So go check there. The links will be there. Now, me and my friends have started a new tradition this year. We always do like a Christmas dinner at some point, like an adults only evening Christmas dinner we've been doing it since before we all had kids and we've continued it since we've had kids that sun is a little bit annoying isn't it usually on our christmas dinner we do a secret santa and it's like five to ten pounds but we always end up with kind of like rubbish that we don't really need so this year i said why don't we all get given a name and then we have to buy that person a christmas tree 
ornament, a Christmas tree decoration that reminds us of that person. And I'm really excited, we haven't had our dinner yet, but I think it's such a cute idea. There's so many fun Christmas tree decorations out there. Arquette have such a good selection to pick from. Like I said earlier in the video, love their paper ones. They've also got these paper tree decorations. Really wanna get one for like above our fireplace. They're really, really lovely. This Christmas tree decoration, no surprises that I picked this one. It is so cute. It's a little fuzzy bear holding a tennis racket and a tennis ball and I love it so much. It's gonna remind me of the year that I started taking tennis lessons again and have totally found my groove with a little bit of movement, a little bit of exercise, loving it. And I just think he's so cute. There's there's quite a few little like characters to pick from, but this is the one that I wanted to show you today. Maybe one of my friends will get me this for our Christmas dinner. If they do, I mean, I think that's a pretty good one to remind them of me. Next up is this coffee table book, Arquette Cafe Cookbook. I love the Arquette Cafe stuff. They've actually got like merch, like t-shirts and tops and bags and hats that say Arquette Cafe on. Because if you've never been into an actual Arquette store before, they do have a little cafe attached to a lot of them. And it's so nice. I absolutely love going and sitting in it. So this is probably one for the Arquette lover like myself. Love the green, it's obviously gonna look so nice on display. But it's also got some really nice recipes in here as well. It's split out into seasons, so we've got like the hearty soup in autumn. Garlic roasted mushroom and parmesan sandwich. Oh, so good. Some very kind of easy, delicious recipes all housed in a beautiful little coffee table book. I don't think you can go wrong with a really nice pair of socks. Um, it's on my birthday list this year. I've asked my sister to get me some like big comfy slipper socks. Keep my feet nice and warm when I'm like chilling in the evening or just hanging at home. The Arquette cashmere socks are so lovely. I really loved the ribbed detail on these. This is a gray pair obviously and I just think a really good quality pair of socks is a really nice gift it's one of those things people forget to buy themselves they don't really treat themselves to nice socks and it's a lovely gift you really can't go wrong so that's probably a good one if you don't know the person that well in case you didn't know Arquette also do candles their kind of homeware beauty section is so so lovely this is how it comes in a really nice box and let me show you the candle inside this is the oak moss scent all their candles are in this gorgeous like green pot that you could totally reuse afterwards. Once the candle's empty, I find that once there's just a little bit of wax at the end, pour it out onto some tissue, put in some like boiling hot water and then you can just clean it out. Some people like to put it in the freezer, but I prefer to just use boiling water. And then you're gonna be left with this gorgeous green glass that you could use for your makeup brushes or for cotton pads or whatever you like. It's really like discreet, nice packaging. This oak moss scent is gorgeous. It's a very fresh green scent. Really, really nice. It's gonna make your home smell Smell very clean. This is something I bet you didn't know that Arquette do. They do some like really nice games. If you're buying for someone who loves to play games on like Christmas day or like any time of the year when they're hosting, when they've got friends around, they've got games, but like aesthetic games, like games that look really nice. So this is four in a row, otherwise known as, oh my God, what's Connect Four, Connect Four, that's what it's called. You know the one where you put the little coins in and you have to get four in a row, either across or diagonal or up. I haven't played this in so long and this is like a really pretty version. It looks so nice. This is such a unique gift, but like a really thoughtful one, I feel like. And something I haven't really seen in many places. So I think that is just such a lovely one. One for the kids. And you might have heard of the brand Merry Merry, but Arquette actually stock some of their stuff and it's gorgeous, gorgeous kids wear. They've got this dressing up superhero like kit. It's so beautiful. All of the Merry Merry stuff is so beautifully made, like really high quality, which is not something, not everyone looks for that in like fancy dress clothes. We've got a real, mix in Grey's collection, but it is really nice when you can find something that you feel like is really gonna last. A lot of Grey's dressing up clothes, she grows out of after like a year, especially like the dresses. So I thought this was a really good one because it's like gender neutral. It's a cape, so it will always fit. It's not like a dress or a top or anything. So this will work for both my kids at all ages. It's a beautiful cape with this blue fabric, beautiful stars. It's got this like amazing silver lining and then it comes with a mask and it also comes with these little like things that go on your wrists like superhero wrist things really really lovely if you want to make the investment or 
you know, if you want to gift it. I just think this is a really good one. You can't go wrong. Like I said, works for boys, works for girls, works for like any age. Also, look at the back. Isn't that incredible? Very rock star. Like I said, I love all the home stuff in Arquette and they've got some beautiful blankets. A blanket is a gorgeous gift to give in the winter. It's going to get very cold and I always recommend wool as a fabric if you're looking for something to actually keep you warm. Like we buy wool socks and wool leggings and anything wool is going to keep you warm. Like the kids' duvets are all made out of wool. It's a very like regulating fabric. They've got this gorgeous wool blanket and it's so huge. You could literally, let me just like, let me just get in here. It is so cozy. <laughs> oh my God, it's so nice. I just want to like snuggle in this in front of the TV and watch Christmas films. And I'm so into like getting snuggly in the evening. Like I said, I've asked for slipper socks for my birthday. I am loving my dressing gown at the moment. And I think if you've got a really lovely big blanket on your sofa, that's easy to grab, can't go wrong. It's so gorgeous. And it's got this really lovely print. So it's like a brown and cream, like, okay, now I'm literally stuck in the, the blanket. Brown and cream, like swirly pattern. Imagine getting this as a gift, like lovely folded, wrapped up with a bow so luxurious and gorgeous. One for the guys. I love the cashmere that Arquette do. I've mentioned the cashmere socks and I've got quite a few cashmere pieces from Arquette. I love their high neck jumpers. And I think for guys, their cashmere is really nice as well. This is just a very simple cashmere jumper. You can't really go wrong. Pretty much any guy is gonna love this, I think. My dad would love this, Rich would love this. I chose this color because I think it's a really flattering, like medium toned brown. It's a round neck. It's not thick, it's not itchy, it's so soft. So that would be my pick for the men's stuff. And then the final thing I want to show you, I'm actually wearing now and it's a cashmere matching set. So it's a cashmere jumper in this gorgeous like beige color, very soft, very easy to wear, round neck, quite a boxy jumper with cashmere trousers. And I love the trousers. They've got this really comfortable, stretchy waistband, loose, wide leg. These are so comfortable for wearing around the house. You could wear them out if you want as well. Super soft on the skin, will keep you so nice and warm. This is like the ultimate loungewear. If you really want to treat someone or if you really want to treat yourself, this is the loungewear of dreams. So that is my little gift guide from Arquette. Sorry, the sun has been like trolling me throughout this section of the video, I feel like, but I'm not complaining. I love the sunny day. As I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box. I think I picked some pretty good things for you guys. I'm really excited about them. And my friends like get annoyed about how often I talk about Arquette. I'm always like, oh, you should get it from Arquette. Like if they ask me a question, I'm like, yeah, you could definitely get that in Arquette. <laughs> I'm such a crazy fan girl. Taking a break from editing to have some lunch. I've got some Leon here, chicken only hot box, which is delish. Looks like this. Um, Rich is here. Do you want to say hi? No, hi. Say hi. Mm, don't eat my lunch. Rich, I just eaten the rest of the grey chocolate. Rich, what are you going to wear tonight? So I've got a long sleeve polo shirt, but like a casual one. What's a polo shirt? So it's soft collar. Mm. No buttons. It's just like a split mm -hmm. but not deep jeans black jeans and some shoes black shoes nice like trainers black trainers sorry i think that's easier for guys in this sort of environment to be like smart casual i don't yeah. really know what i'm gonna wear and also like if we're getting the tube i have to wear comfy shoes which immediately makes you look more casual gray's advent calendar has been going down very well apart from on the chocolate days where she's a bit disappointed because she's a very strange child we've realized um i have my dairy milk of course you guys know if you're old school vlogmas watchers. Do you remember the year where I couldn't find them because they were sold out? That was a terrible year. But this I made for her. So there's lots of different stuff in here. What's the day today? Uh, the seventh. So she got chocolate today. Tomorrow, what's she getting tomorrow? Tomorrow she has got some lip balms. She's gonna love that. A couple of little lip balms in there. Um, so it's a chocolate every other day. And then I've put in like, yeah, see there's a chocolate coin in there. Ooh, on this day there's a little, um scented highlighter pen there's a few of those to collect and then on the final two days i've put in a bath bomb this is like a finger puppet bath bomb and uh this is a big one this is like a proper gift a moana tony 
if you know you know i'm excited about this one to be fair because we have exhausted all the toadies that she's got i'm looking forward to a new evening bedtime show so this was a very cute purchase and we'll definitely be using it every year as i hang my laundry to dry i think i'm going to say goodbye wow that sounded like a poem i was accidentally about to break out into a poem i'm going to try and do another video before i end for christmas because this just doesn't feel like this doesn't feel like a last video of the year type thing i'm not sure my next video will be either but maybe i can vlog us doing something festive I'm kind of semi whispering because rudy's asleep downstairs sorry these are all rich's white t-shirts this man rich you have more white t-shirts than anyone could ever possibly need. About. all the washing is rich's done. clothes I'm definitely... <laughs> he's telling me off but i thought rich can try on the Arquette cashmere jumper for you guys. I think you're gonna love this. How nice is the colour? Yeah, really nice. I think we wear a t shirt with it on look. I know, because it feels quite th like it's a bit like thinner than your other jumpers, isn't it? It's not like a chunky jumper. Yeah, you can still wear a t shirt. You don't have to though, because it's nice and soft. Yeah. That is very nice. I knew that colour would suit you. Yeah. Really nice suits colour. your hair colour. So nice. I don't, I don't think I'll wear this with a t shirt. No, you can wear it with that. Yeah. Why do men always do that when they're posing in clothes? That is your go-to pose, no. Do it again. <laughs> is it for the biceps? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here because I've got lots of editing and work and stuff to get on with before party tonight. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out all the links below in the description box. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.